Hello there, Reason users. This is Sassfire JS from The Spot Production. Uh huh. And guess what? We're going to do an update today. An update on converting your WAV files to an MP3 using 6.5 Reason. Alright, so let's get started. Now, the first thing you want to do is select your song. I already selected the one that I wanted to use. It's right here. Um, I created this beat like a week ago. Um, it's only eight bars, so I have some other things I want to do to it. But right now, I'm just showing you how to export export your um, music. So here we go. Um, click on File. All the way down till you see Export Songs as Audio File. Click on it then what you do is um, you can put it in a specific file that you want it in but me I prefer putting it on the desktop because it's easier to find so I'm going to save it on the desktop and now right here you see uh, export uh, audio settings uh, sa uh, sample rate and byte depth bit depth um, I'm going to leave it on 44 and 16. So click OK. And then um, once it hits 8 bars, I'm going to stop it. And now I'm going to stop it. Now uh, a pop up is going to come up. And it's going to. Uh, ask you do you want to keep the part of the audio file that has been created up until now you, yes you do want to do that so you click hit keep now that's it that's all you're doing on this part right here so bring your window down and as you can see it is right here on my desktop now the next thing you want to do now is find you a converter um, you can use Audacity, but I prefer using Media I/O. I've never had problems with it. Sometimes you may have problems where it doesn't work, but you just restart the browser and then it start working. But right now, the next thing I'm going to do is click Browse, and we all know that my WAV file is on my desktop, so I'm going to click on that and open it. Now it's in this little box here as you can see. Now the next thing you want to do is upload. And as you can see it's uploading it. Yeah, and um, once it uploads it's going to go to select format. And um, what we're going to choose is MP3. However, you can, um, we already have a WAV file, but if you later on want to convert to a WAV, you have this and OGG and uh, WMA. So, but we're going to do MP3. Now, I'm going to get, I'm going to use, it says select qual um, quality. I'm going to uh, select extreme. Now all you do is click convert and then there you go. Download one megabyte. It's done. And you click it. And then it's gonna a window's gonna pop up and um it's gonna ask you uh um you know you have to choose you know what do you want to choose to open this file we're going to use the uh, window media alrighty so we want to click it uh, it's coming up now and here it is And now it's on an MP3. Now, 
um, if you want to put it on your device, your MP3 device, um, what you need to do then, next, we're going to turn this off, bring this down. Up here, I'm using um, a Firefox browser, so I don't know for sure for uh, Explorer, but I'm using the Firefox. And in the download section, you will see uh, the file that you just converted into an MP3. Okay, so what you want to do is I'm going to bring that window down, left click it, bring it over, and there you go, it'll be on your desktop. See? So then when you put your click your device in, all you got to do is just drag it into your device. But this is how you convert your WAV files to MP3 using Reason 6.5. Um, also, I want to give you a heads up before I get out off of here that um, Reason has a new version coming out, uh, version 7. And I don't know the date that it's going to come out, but it is coming out in 2013. And the cost is going to be 129 But you can get it free if you um, uh, do a upgrade or other things like, um, let's just say I already got 6.5. So if I want to get um, the reverse of 7, I would have to purchase the... Uh, balance um, to get the version 7 for free which I think balance is like 449 I don't know I, I would have to check it check it out and see for sure but that's if you know if I wanted to get the balance or if you plan on getting something else you might as well get the version 7 for free alright take care much love uh huh this is Sasfire JS and I'm out of here